Hey guys, what's going on? I got something cool to show you. Yep, got the old um, family Ford 500 in the garage. Oh my goodness, the tires are missing. Wait. Wait, where's the suspension? Where's the subframe? My goodness, where's the subframe? All right, well, no subframe. So, as you know, they is, well, everything in here is more or less sprayed with salt spray or gravel or whatever from the road. Um, but here, I want to show you the, the extent of the rust on the exterior is this pin prick here. You can see it's a little more on the inside as well. Now that's the extent of the rust on the outside of this car. The, oh, the other side is the same thing. Then this is an aluminum hood model. So, trying to give you some light here. Yeah. Um, one or two of these spots extend to the top of the hood, to the very edge. Because this is an aluminum hood model. Um, so they have that corrosion now instead of, yeah, there's more bubbles every year, seems like. And it's, I mean, I've sprayed it down with waste oil. And then here's the other, here's the other bubble. So I took it in for inspection and they, um, couldn't pass me because of, the subframe was just totally rotted away. Um, but I did get that out with a generous amount of, of um, frustration and language. So, well, we're going to have a dead battery here in a minute. That's what she looks like. You got to take the exhaust off, take the rack off. Take all the motor mounts off. Um, and sway bar. Take the sway bar off. Sway bar is really hard to get at, but if you take the subframe down a few inches, get everything except for the sway bar loose, uh, you can let your um, backside settle down a few inches, and then you can get at it. So far, everything's sitting on that um, box beam there. Very dangerous, very dangerous. Um, so here's the repair job. We, um, okay, this is actually upright here. So a lot of this was on the bottom. So you can see where I patched it in. I didn't patch it in over here, but I cut a whole new tunnel out. Let me get my light. Yeah, all of that's patched in. All of over here is patched in. And that's that's right down the middle, so that I guess the salt spray hits it pretty badly right there. And then this front section is completely plated in. So that ought to be a very, very durable repair. And all done with uh, flux cord MIG, so... Gets lots and lots of splatter. So, yep, this is the bumper I built. So, last summer I pulled off the road to look at an accident where somebody took a corner too fast. Actually, yeah, took a corner too fast and mowed a signpost off. So I pulled off the road and actually the whole bottom of this Bar here is caved in. I'm going to put my light back on so you can get a little bit of a uniform light here. So the bottom of this box is all caved in. The radiator sits from here over to the other side. So I literally almost took my radiator out. And also there's no protection from rodents, um, road debris, uh, no protection from curbs even in parking lots. So that, 
they have a bumper there take care of that since we went to um uh, liability insurance i felt i could take the time and make that happen it was actually a pipe somebody gave me um so what we're doing on the way in is we're slotting this this mount so we ought to be able to tip the front end up slide this mount up onto the stud and if need be i had a very heavy washer on the bottom that should work very well there i don't think there's any movement between these two motor mounts and that and hopefully hopefully um this car will ride will ride like the yonder ford fusion the ford fusion rides um very very euro style my cousin has a kia i think a 13 model kia optima uh euro, euro style car or even a bmw probably i'm only ridden in like a 99 and it rides a lot like that so the 500 rides has big big squishy suspension and it uh this had a sway bar rattle it's still it's only a hair over 100,000 miles it's a fairly low mile car still um maybe not so much up north here but overall it's a pretty low mile car so it's starting to get a sway bar clink um i'm redoing the one trailing arm bushing while we're out while we're out they sit right in here they look like a 99 bmw 323i um pressed into the aluminum thing so i was supposed to pick that up today but um so what i want to do here is get a coat of primer on here i dearly 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 wish i had a sandblasting to sandblast this but i don't and i have no cash to go have it done also there's a couple sandblasters in the area within 50 miles of here um the local guy is very busy out, too busy to do small jobs, I heard, so. Um, and the other two guys are fairly far away, and I don't know what they're, so, yeah, it would be nice to blast it. And I also hate powder coat. This is, this is actually a fairly remarkable powder coat job. But you get a lot of these bald spots. And a lot of cheap powder coat jobs like, say, Lowe's or um, Lowe's garden trailers, garden carts, a lot of swing sets and things you find, peel off in great big flakes. Um, even John Deere, like John Deere 318, 317, I've seen great big peels of stupid powder coat come off. And, yeah, it's a pain. I like the truck bed there. This was all painted. This had one coat of paint over the entire bed last fall. One coat of a few different kinds of paint. Now, I think we're to the point where Pour 15 is going to have to be the um, recipe for that. We'll see. The truck's run its race. It's frames, frames solid, but the, the um, you know, cab's riding out now because of it's a 99 and you know time has passed and lots of salt all righty guys i hope you enjoyed this um little show here and we will be having a very very frustrating day tomorrow putting this in place i wish i had the manpower and camera equipment to um give you guys a good show but um yep keep me in your, keep me in your thoughts have a great evening